Welcome to this series of tutorials about a low poly scenario called Lost in the Sea. Today in Blender we are going to see how to create a low poly octopus with a cartoon style. So we need a sphere and with Shift A we're going to create a sphere with 18 segments and 8 rings. And for your information you will lose this menu after you move, rotate or scale your sphere. So be careful because if you want to change the rings or the segments you will have to create another sphere. Now to get our overall form right we create 16 tackles with an equal space between them. So select 6 from the second bottom line and after that press Alt E so you can extrude individual faces. The length of the tentacles is up to you, you can make it longer or smaller. Let's push them up a bit and for now I'm going to do a bit of speed modeling while I explain you what I'm doing. So first off turn on proportional editing by pressing O and while you are moving, rotating or scaling you can select your area of influence with the mouse wheel. You will see a circle like this one. Now for the head of the octopus, as you may see I am doing a bit bigger than the rest of the body and the back of the head is a bit more extended in cooperation with the front flat face. And after that we only need to make one good tentacle so we can replace the other ones. And as you know tentacles are round so let's replicate that form. And for that we need to create more segments on a tentacle so we can manipulate it. And now with proportional editing on, O for shortcut, we select the tip of the tentacle and scale it down to be more thin. Select the top and bottom vertices and scale them down like this. Make the start of the tentacle bigger. Now give it some twists so it can get curvy and select the geometry of the tentacle like this. Duplicate it with Shift D and remember that if you add a geometry to this tentacle it's important that the other ones have the same amount of vertices in the base. Now erase the placeholders and with Ctrl Shift Tab select Vertex, move with G the vertice of the octopus body to the closest vertice of the tentacle by using the Ctrl to snap, like this. Press double V and select Remove Doubles. So for now you are going to select the tentacle, duplicate it with Shift D, snap it with Ctrl to a vertice and double V to remove doubles so the vertices get merged together and there are no unnecessary vertices. When you are done giving the final tweaks, go to modifiers and you can add a bevel. And now moving on to the eyes, with two vertices selected, press Shift S, choose cursor to select it. So we can spawn in object mode with Shift A, a sphere with 8 segments and 8 rings. Scale it down to your desired size and go to modifiers to add a mirror. Select the octopus as a mirror object and choose the Y axis. Don't worry about the color, it's just an orange material, very basic. By extruding 3 rows of the top of the eye and 4 of the bottom, we can create the eyelid. Use E to extrude after you have selected the faces, like this. To get the expression you want, you can use R to rotate and G to manipulate the vertices. Choose a color of your desire and to add more than one color in the same object just select the faces you wish to paint, press this plus button and now you can assign this material to the selected faces. The 
final touch is just the black center of the eye and for that we are going to add a cylinder with something like 8 faces and rotate it and scale it so it can fit the center of the eye just like this. Just add a black material the mirror modifier and the bevel modifier and you are pretty much done and that's it guys that's how you create a low poly octopus from a sphere please feel free to ask any questions and i will reply as soon as possible thank you for watching don't lose the other tutorials and make sure to hit that subscribe button see you soon